We're going to cook oysters today. These beautiful oysters we got at Cragen's Farm and Isla Oysters in, in Greenwald uh, the other day. Well, it was not the other day, it was today, in fact. They're very fresh, they're fantastic. So what, we, what we're going to do is a very easy recipe that everybody could do. Uh, we open the oysters, like we have. We just get the water, the sea water, uh, filter it into a pan. We will keep that for later. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, put our oysters on a warm of vegetables. It can be spinach, can be um, any, any green sp uh, vegetables you have. I've chosen leeks because leeks are uh, winter uh, vegetables. And uh, so the leeks is very easy. I've done, I've uh, cut them very thinly and uh, cooked them in a little butter with just a dash of water. And uh, uh, in, in the end, after 10 minutes, I've had some of this Lafroig, because Lafroig is a winner with oysters. So here we have the, the, the water, which is warm, and we'll shell these oysters. Um, we have to take them into with the water, the sea water. Well, it's important to, to, to uh, filter them because they may have a few um, little shells and uh, it's not nice to get, to get a shell in your palate. So that's what we do, just filter it like that. They're gorgeous. They're very good raw as well. We're, it's uh, what we did the other day by the sea was the, really the best, maybe the best way to eat oysters, but you not every day in Log Greenwald, unfortunately. So this is how we do. All right. Oh, no, sorry. Here we are. So we've got the water here, and we just poach them, but very, very shortly, because cooked oysters are, in fact, half cooked. So just po push them. I would say, well, I, I never measure, but I would say one minute or something like that, just, just to warm them a little so that when you eat them, they're really warm because they'll, be, they'll go under the grill, but so sh in a short time, and uh, you don't want them to be, to be cooked. You really want also to have this texture, this chewy texture, which is so wonderful, and especially with Isla oysters. So here we are, just one minute. And what we're going to do is, you don't forget to wash your shell. And so you, you must work with clean shells. Just a little leaks, not much. So these you can smell Lafroig food. It's wonderful because uh, Lafroig will really give this, this touch, this iodine touch, we, which was so nice with the oysters. But just, I would say, two spoonful, two tablespoon of Lafroig will be enough because it's quite a, a strong, pungent whiskey. So you don't want to, you don't want it to overwhelm your oysters obviously. Now, it's enough for them. They're poached. And uh, we'll have just one oyster in each shell. Uh, they're not cooked. They're, they're, they're they're just really just poached. I insist on that because uh, very often the problem with seafood is that it's overcooked and you lose everything. Um, and you can you can smell the seawater. It's beautiful, really beautiful. So I think they they're asking for a drop of lafroy. These oysters seem to like lafroy. Just a little drop there. 
very little. Oops, this one is a bit too much. Uh, it's good to be generous, but not over generous. And we finish with this mixture, very simple, just parmesan uh, cheese and oat cakes with, with a crushed in a mortar and a little pepper. So it can't be simpler. So uh, it's maybe uh, what they call here, it's close to what they call Rockefeller oysters. But Rockefeller oysters, if I'm not wrong, have uh, some pernos. So they, they rather have a French touch than a British one. And here we just do the opposite. A French cook using Scottish produce. Okay. Then you take a tray. That's the tricky part. You have to sit your oyster in the tray. And uh, it's not, not always easy because they are a bit... They have different shapes. So what we can do, I don't, I don't have it here, but you, you, you sit them on a bed of salt and they will, they will sit quietly. They will be, they will, they will be firmly um, installed. And just in the grill, four minutes, three to four minutes in a hot grill. And you serve them with a drum of La Freg, of course. It's easy as that. So a very easy recipe uh, to do for winter for a starter. Six oysters, um, uh, one leek that we will chop in very thinly, uh, 40 grams of butter and two tablespoons of Lafroig. You just shell your, your, your oysters, you get the seawater, you don't throw the seawater, you filter the seawater in a pan. You cut uh, your, um, your leek, put them in a pan with butter so that they cook nicely with a little water and in the end, two tablespoons of Lafroig, uh, no salt but just uh, pepper. Then you, you warm the seawater, poach one minute only your um, oysters in it, a bed on, uh, of a leek on the shell, the, the, the oyster, and on the top is just crushed uh, oat cakes, two oat cakes with some parmesan and some pepper. Four minutes in the grill. Uh, well, before before putting the the cheese, you just had one drop of lafrog on the oyster. In the oven, in the grill, under the grill for four minutes. Here you are. That's it. Simple. So now they should be ready. Four minutes under the grill, and uh, we could smell. Lovely smell of grated cheese. Here they are, perfect, exactly, exactly the right color. So the only thing to do is try not to burn yourself, but you just dispose them nicely. Just this little rope. This is drift, a drift rope. Because I, I spend my time walking on, well, not my, all my time, but when I can, I go walking on the beaches and I just pick everything I can find, thinking that would be useful either for cooking or decorating. And here you are. And then your guests, hopefully, will be happy with that. It's a starter. If you want to make it a main dish, you make five per person and you can serve those with I don't know, some much potato or just a, a vegetable um, to accompany them. But uh, usually I would serve it as a starter and I, I would give three per person or, yes, because they're big. Uh, if it's, they're smaller, you can go up to six, but uh, the Isla oyster are so rich, are so uh, mouth-filling that I think three is, is the perfect number. We've done the warm oysters with for more for a wintry um, starter, but it's it's also wonderful to get your oyster to have to eat your oyster raw because you get all the natural um, sea water and everything like that. But um, here I've done um, 
a recipe, I've done a, a, a nice way of preparing them without touching the natural um, thing in the oysters, but uh, with a little touch of spices and herbs. So here it's very easy to do. Uh, well, easy, not exactly if you're not a good oyster opener, which I am. Uh, I've cut my finger opening these oysters, but uh, you open your oyster, you just take the, sh the um, you unshell them, keep them apart, collect all the seawater, and before unshelling them, think of uh, the second water they will release. So take the two waters, filter this water so that we don't get any sand or little shells. With this water, you put it put it on the, um, on the in a pan, warm the water, bring it to a gentle boil, and add uh, gelatin. So the type of gelatin I use is a very natural one. It comes from from seaweed. You buy them in all these uh, you know healthy healthy food shops, so that we, you'll have a, a jelly, but not too thick. So don't put too much. When it's warm, let it cool put some pepper and some of this Lafroeg because we finally, uh, uh, with this competition we had between all the whiskies, this, this one came as a winner. So just maybe for, let's say for eight oysters, you'll have two tablespoons of, of whiskey. Let that cool a little and chop the herbs you have. In winter, we don't get many herbs. I, I did that with some celery. Uh, but uh, you can have uh, chives or the herbs you like, really, not too much. Chop them, put your, clean your shell first, um, and put your oyster back. Two tablespoons of this lovely sea water, which will set aside, and just sprinkle uh, some herbs and pepper, and put it in the fridge at least allow two hours, so that it's, it's really set nicely, and then you just serve them like that. But, and when you are outside, because this is, this is of course for inside and, and you, have, you, you, you have your Lafroy glass with it. If you're outside having, enjoying your oyster by the sea, and which is one of the best way really, you have your whiskey with you and oh, we've forgotten the, the tasting glass. What are you going, we're going to do? Easy, one shell, and maybe this should be a real tasting glass, you know, because you're by the sea, the sea breeze is coming into your shell and the, the, the oxidation goes very, very quickly. So then you have your left frog ready to enjoy a wonderful taste of marine and, and sea breeze and that the, the peat coming in the back with this medicinal touch of Lafroig. For me it's comfort, for other person it will be something different, but with the oyster, believe me, this is a real, real fantastic match and that's all it is about, oysters and Lafroig. Wonderful. Tell us about your shed. Oh, yes. I've also got a fantastic garden shed, which is home painted. I did that in August this year, and uh, I'm very proud of my garden shed. It's like a, a beach hut, and it hasn't get, got a name yet, but there was a great garden shed house warming party or garden shed warming party with lots of good food and drinks. What's the best thing about your shed? Best thing. Um, what I like in my shed is the is the white stripes and and the blue color, blue and white. I think it's it's very elegant. It's not typically Iloc, but uh, maybe a touch of France. I don't know. <laughs>